Heals welcomes you to the third Euro Symposium on Healthy Aging. Heals is the largest non-governmental organization in Europe promoting and advocating scientific research into longevity and biogerontology. Thanks to generous support from our sponsors, Heals was able to organize this conference. The conference will highlight the cutting edge of knowledge in the field of biogerontology and provide a unique opportunity for researchers, government officials, biotech executives and advocates from around the world to meet, network and forge new scientific collaborations. The total annual economic impact of cancer is an estimated $895 billion. Annual cost of osteoporosis in the U.S. is 17 to 20 billion. Annual worldwide cost of dementia is about 818 billion dollars. The annual direct medical cost of cardiovascular disease is expected to increase from 273 billion in 2010 to 818 billion in 2030. Healthcare cost from diabetes is expected to increase from 113 billion in 2009 to 336 billion in 2034. HEALS welcomes you to the third Euro Symposium on Healthy Aging. HEALS is the largest non-governmental organization in Europe promoting and advocating scientific research into longevity and biogerontology. Thanks to generous support from our sponsors, HEALS was able to organize this conference. The conference will highlight the cutting edge of knowledge in the field of biogerontology and provide a unique opportunity for researchers, government officials, biotech executives and advocates from around the world to meet, network and forge new scientific collaborations. Currently people spend one-fifth of their lifetime um, with some um, medical or um, disabling condition. It is time to step down from the traditional paradigm and move to preventative herontology so that we remain in good health and full of vim and vigor for a very long time to come. And then these are hypermethylated regions, and you can see that there's a two-fold difference in the number of hypermethylated regions. So there's increased numbers of hypermethylated regions in the, in the wild type in comparison to the dwarf. So the next thing we wanted to do was see if we could actually rescue translation in the mitochondria. And in this case, what we find is when we, work it, when we import these corrective tRNAs, we're able to slightly rescue the rate of translation. Good morning everyone. Welcome to the third Euro Symposium on Healthy Aging. This conference provides a unique opportunity for researchers, policymakers, biotech executives, entrepreneurs, and representatives of non-governmental organizations from around the world to meet, network, and forge new scientific collaborations. This conference was organized for the first time in 2012 and has continued to grow ever since. We are very happy to see that over 70 people will attend this year's conference. The world has already faced the variety of challenges caused by an aging population and the so-called silver tsunami. In a beautiful movie made for this conference by Sergio, Sergio Tarero, some incredible numbers on the costs of various age-related diseases were mentioned. But following major discoveries in science and biomedicine in recent years, we are now on the edge of a paradigm shift from treatment to prevention and an improvement in healthy longevity. The quickly growing trend has been marked by a number of speakers at the World Economic Forum in Davos and echoed by major media such as the Economist Journal, which began a series of conferences in 2016 called Aging Societies and the Business of Longevity. However, sadly, not everyone is convinced about the value of promoting longevity. Some of you may have seen this article from the UK newspaper, The Telegraph, published day on day exactly a week ago, in which Jemima Lewis states that curing disease is a bad idea. During my welcome speech at the previous EHA conference, I talked about an article in The Atlantic by Ezekiel Emanuel with the title Why I Hope to Die at 75. One would almost believe that the journalists timed these articles to our conference. 
the time is ripe for the biotech sector to get involved in longevity. Over the past years, we have seen the launch of multiple innovative biotech companies focused on longevity. Examples include Calico, Human Longevity Incorporated, Elysium Health, BioViva, and in Silico Medicine. Today and tomorrow, two panel sessions will delve into the aging biotech market. One of the main outstanding questions is how the efficacy of geoprotective therapies will be proven and how the pipeline for translating this basic science to the clinical application will look like. To start answering this question, a retreat was organized last year under the NIH R24 Geoscience Network that culminated in the publication in the Journal of Gerontology, Biological Sciences. In this paper, the authors generated concepts and frameworks for early proof-of-concept clinical trials for therapeutic interventions that target fundamental processes of aging. Last year, in a landmark decision by the FDA, they granted permission for the targeting aging with metformin or TAME trial. In this double-blind placebo-controlled trial, researchers will put 3,000 elderly people who are at high risk for several age-related diseases on metformin for five to seven years. At the end of the trial, the researchers will compare the mortality and the incidence of age-related diseases between the two groups. We are looking forward to the results of this trial. Many of you uh, may be aware about the recently launched Project 21. Michael Graves' company, Kizu Technologies Ventures, is providing $5 million in seed uh, investments for startups focused on bringing rejuvenation biotechnology treatments to the market. We are fortunate to have Michael Grave here with us today, and he will be a panel uh, member in our afternoon debate on the aging biotech industry. We also have the senior partner of Deep Knowledge Ventures, Dmitry Kaminsky, here. Deep Knowledge Ventures is a Hong Kong-based venture capital fund specializing in seed, growth stage, and early stage investments. It seeks to invest in companies and research projects advocating research in big data and life science industries, age-related diseases, biotechnology, oncology, drug discovery, bioinformatics, personalized medicine, and regenerative medicine. Kaminsky will be a panel member in this afternoon's panel session as well as tomorrow's session. Uh, we are very happy uh, and we express our gratitude to Kaminsky for helping us with the organization of this event. We also have a representatives of Academic Labs, Arne Smolders with us. Arne built his company after attending the 2012 Euro Symposium on Healthy Aging as a service to our community. Academic Labs is a social network and matchmaking platform for researchers, innovators and business developers in academia and industry. A network of senior researchers share their group's underutilized know-how, infrastructure and technologies as a service to attract new partners. Project outsourcing of experiments, licensing technologies, routing and unique services, etc. Academic Labs advanced search and clustering of groups, services and communi in communities, consortia, application domains and institutions facilitates the search for optimal research partners. I would also like to take a moment to remember two HEALS members, Dr. L. Stephen Coles, the president of the Gerontology Research Group at UCLA, was a member of our scientific advisory board. He passed away just two months after the last EHA conference. He will be remembered for his scientific work on supercentenarians, including the search for genes that explain their longevity. Another big contribution of Stephen was the discovery that out of 12 autopsy supercentenarians, nine died from the same cause, senal TTR amyloidosis. Frederick Schiesman served as our website manager before sadly passing away last year. Frederick was a man with a large thirst for knowledge. After his retirement, he started courses in machine learning, biology, and database design. As the English author Charles Caleb Colton once wrote, True friendship is like sound health. The value of it is seldom known until it's lost. Thank you very much. <laughs>